Hey guys, it's four days till the Oscars, so I thought I would do my predictions again. Last year, I totally flubbed it. I did awful to the point of where I'm embarrassed that I still have that video up. Considering in the previous years, I have done very well just in contests with my brother and everything. So this year, I hope to redeem myself, even though I haven't seen three of the main movies that are nominated for Best Picture. That being The Big Short, um, Brooklyn, Room... Oh, and Spotlight, so I haven't seen four of those. So, here are my predictions for those films. So, for Best Original Screenplay, I think it's going to go to Spotlight. I would like it to go to Ex Machina, because I thought Alex Garland did a fantastic job, but usually journalistic films like this can usually really... Um, can get a lot of backing especially with a film of this magnitude and apparently it was really really good i never got a chance to see it but apparently it was really good uh for best Adap adapted screenplay um it's been the big short everywhere so that's what i kind of assume it will be because i have not seen anyone else really take anything away so i'm pretty sure it's going to be the big short for best visual effects, it probably will go to Star Wars. Uh, Martian had really great effects, and Mad Max has really great effects, but the problem is Mad Max is not majoritarily visual effects. That might be a thing that they might want, but usually for this award, you want effects that are both uh, hiding things and showing off uh, great CGI talent. And while Mad Max does a great job of kind of hiding, like kind of blending the areas together, making a seamless world, it's sort of stuff that you don't really realize is there, which is great. But I think Star Wars will get it. In my opinion, though, I would love Ex Machina to get it because of a film of that budget that had such seamless uh, work on Ava like her whole body was amazing just how it was see-through and just the whole work I don't know how they did that, but that was amazing. So probably Star Wars. I'd like it to be ex machina so for best sound mixing and sound editing well The Revenant might but I'm hoping and I want Mad Max to win both of those because the sound mixing and sound editing with those was fantastic uh, I have a feeling The Revenant might win for sound mixing, maybe, but I'm putting in my two bets with Mad Max. Basically, for a lot of technical stuff, I have a feeling it's going to be Mad Max this year. So, for best production design, Mad Max. Has to be. Absolutely has to be. Now, best song. I never, ever get this one right, unless it's a sure thing. Last year, I got it wrong. Um... I don't know. I have a thought that I might be writing on the wall, even though it's not that good of a Bond song. Um, I'm going to go with Youth. Youth song, simple song number three. Because if it's the Fifty Shades of Grey song, I'm going to be pissed. For best original score, it has to go to Ennio Morricans for The Hateful Eight. No doubt about it. There's really no competition. Star Wars with John Williams was great, but it wasn't really that much of a difference in terms of his Star Wars music. Like, he wasn't, like, bombastically different. And the other three, Sicario. Sicario was great, but I I thought it had the same song throughout the entire thing. So, it's not. I'm not dissing that. I think that movie's still amazing. But I, I think it's going to go to Ennio Morricone for The Hateful Eight. Best makeup. Oh, bloody hell, that's Mad Max. Without a freaking doubt. Best Foreign Film. Now, the funny thing is, the one that won for the BAFTAs isn't even nominated this year because the BAFTAs was nominating one that actually came out in 2014. The Oscars didn't want to do it or something. I don't know. So, I'm going to go with Son of Saul. It might not win, but I have heard so many amazing things about it, and I've wanted to see this movie so badly. I missed a chance to see it earlier last year. So I'm really hoping it's Son of Saul. Best editing. Now, this is the one that matters to me most because up until last year, I'd always gotten it right. And last year I got it wrong and I was very ashamed of myself. So I am going to say Mad Max. Now, some people might think, well, The Revenant has a bunch of seamless edits. The thing that I have against The Revenant is that you're able to tell when these cuts, these uh, manipulations are done. In Gravity and in Birdman, bloody hell, I could barely see them, but The Revenant, they were very noticeable. So, I don't know. I don't think it's gonna win. I think it should be Mad Max because, um, George Miller's wife did an amazing job with this film, and I really think she deserves it. Best Documentary? I don't know. Look of Silence? I don't know. Best Directing? Now, this should go to George Miller. 
bloody 70 year old made one of the most intense films of the last decade but it's going to go to the revenant with i i can't pronounce his name i'm not going to try i'm not going to be offensive but yes i believe the director of the revenant is going to win directing again that's pretty cool Tw back to back best cinematography oh yeah that's going to <laughs> that's going to the revenant as much as i'd want roger deakins to win this is going to be his 14th time he's going to be nominated if i'm correct and he's probably going to lose even though he did an amazing job in Sicario, he's probably not going to win. So, yeah, it's going to go to The Revenant. Best Supporting Actress. This is probably going to go to Kate Winslet. She's been the higher up. She's been the runner for it so far. So that'll be interesting. She didn't have to play in a Holocaust film, like Ricky Gervais said, for her when she won for uh, The Reader. So I think she's going to win Best Supporting Actress. Best Supporting Actor. This should go to Idris Elba. <laughs> but you know what? The guy from Bridge of Spies, Mark Relance. He was really good. Apologies if I said his name wrong, but he was actually probably my favorite part of the Bridge of Spies. And I was really invested in his character. I really liked how he portrayed this guy. And this is a dude who's apparently been around for a while, so he's he deserves some recognition. So I'm happy that he's going to get nominated and I think he's gonna win Best Supporting Actor. Best Actress. Now, from everyone I have heard, everyone I have heard, this has been Brie Larson. I have not seen Room, but this is apparently, this is it. This is her big moment. Now, the one thing I am kind of interested in is wondering whether she'll get the Oscar curse after this or not. Just because she kind of, she's been around, but she hasn't really hit this high of a claim yet. She's done one film, I think, a few years ago that had some acclaim, but this is her big hit. So, you know, best of luck to her. Hopefully she wins. Best actor. Now, this is the one that is probably going to... I think Leo's going to get it, but he's going to get it by default. There's nothing else really out of the other actors who really did something that was compelling enough. And I think Leo, the fact that he's grunting his way to an Oscar is pretty good. But I don't know. In terms of his previous performances, I think he's done way better. But I think he will win. However, I would like Matt Damon to win. Now, the reason why I want Matt Damon to win is because he gave us a very comedic but a very heartfelt character. We saw a multi-layered dimensional character. We saw his laughs. We saw his strengths. We saw his weaknesses. We saw everything. And that's why I would like it if Matt Damon won. Also, I'd just be amazed that Leonardo DiCaprio would lose again. But you know what? If he wins, great for you, Leo. You deserved it for far too long. If Matt Damon wins, however, I'm not going to be surprised, or might be a little bit surprised, but I'll also laugh. Then finally, Best Picture. I wish it was Mad Max, but it won't be. The Oscars aren't going to go with that. They didn't go with Inception. They haven't gone with action films in the past. They chose Shakespeare in Love over Saving Private Ryan, so they're probably going to go with The Revenant. The Revenant definitely is a fantastic movie to watch. I enjoyed it immensely. I liked Mad Max far better, but... In terms of actual sort of what the Oscars want, it's probably going to be Revenant. Anyway, guys, that's my predictions for the Oscars, which comes up in uh, Sunday. And I actually will watch it. I actually have the day off that day. So that's the first time I watched the Oscars live, I believe, since Lords of the Rings swept. I have literally missed every single Oscar so show since then. I've only seen bits and parts. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this prediction list. Hopefully, I do a hell of a lot better than last year. Anyway, hope to see you guys uh, later today for my Supernatural review. It's going to be good. All right, see you later.